Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, My name is Muhammad Ilhan Adi from Al-Kamal And um, so I'm going to take a little bit of time to uh, share with you uh, Some of my experiences after taking the SSH uh, 1201 courses for this semester As we talk about sustainable development actually for me I have been uh, exposed with this uh, sustainable development goals since I was in primary school or even in secondary school I've been uh, there's a lot of things that have mentioned about uh, sustainable development goals again and again and again but the question is uh, even though if we memorize all the goals and uh, do we really uh, implement the goals in our life do we really uh, live our life sustainably sus sustainably this question is subjective as some of us uh, actually uh, implement these goals in their life and, but some of us only know as a basis of academics the activities that they, they have suggested in sustainable development programs or certain sustainable development projects that they uh, carry out but they only do that as a purpose of completing the project one thing for sure, after I've joined the SSH 1201, I've come to realizations that uh, it is uh, actually possible for us to uh, carry out all the um, sustainable development goals in our daily life. Uh, the goals that is really, really close to us is that goals number 11, which is the sustainable cities and communities. I've done actually some challenges on myself to practice the good activities that can uh, contribute to the sustainable development goals. For example, uh, I have tried to <coughs> challenge myself to never uh, let any electrical appliances be not switched off when I was out of the room. Or uh, whenever I go to like toilets, I see uh, lights being uh, not being turned off, tap water is not being turned off properly. I will push myself to do it because if uh, no one else did it then it will be such a waste the sustainable development goals of goals number five which is gender equality uh, before this i found it hard to understand what actually gender equality is uh, yeah we have i personally have heard it a lot of times especially uh, after joining some of the uh, conferences they said uh, gender equality be between men and women and where to apply them but after a few years I don't really see where we implement it but uh, one thing that have happened recently in my life is that I've joined the uh, camp which is called as Medley. Uh it is based in the uh, in our university IAMT, specified for those uh, leaders of the each respective mahala and fortunately I have seen half or not half actually most of the uh, committees, most of the Mahala representative committees are women. Uh, during the Mad League camp, there is a session between SCC, us and SCC, one of the uh, lecturers from IIUM. And, and in these sessions, she uh, emphasized on the gender equality. And through these uh, Mahala representative committees, uh, we can see that it promotes the gender equality because it gives opportunity for uh, women to you know to uh, getting themselves involved in leaderships and it's no longer a matter of only men can be a leaders so now uh, there is a lot of uh, opportunities and a lot of places where women can experience things that uh, before this we thought that only men are capable after involving in these uh, lectures with my uh, with my lecturer, she really opens up on where and how we can implement the SDG goals in our daily life.